I'm going to be so distracted this whole video. Looks like we gotta toss her out. Bye, Ash. No. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. And today we are here with Ash. Ash. I like how you both ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> what what really home. matters. She's being so babied right now. Today's video is gonna be very spooky. It's the spookiest. So if you're a baby, cover your eyes. <laughs> Today we're gonna be watching a scary animation. Try not to get spooked. You spook, you lose. I was out doing a delivery one late night. It was probably the longest drive I'd have ever taken for a pizza delivery. It was a 20 minute drive, which isn't too crazy out where I live. Plus, they ordered four large pies, so I figured it was a party and I would get a much bigger tip. Four pizzas, a party? That's like our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the tip all right. Hope you like big tips. <laughs> I pulled up to the given address. It was some old, sketchy looking building. I put my car in park and called my boss. I asked him to reread the address at least three times to make sure I typed it in right. I could tell he was in a really bitchy mood. Yeah, if you're gonna ask your boss to reread the address three times, he's gonna be in a bad mood. <laughs> What's the address again, boss? 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Okay, one more time. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. One more time. 42 Wallaby Way! Sydney. My boss is in a bitchy mood, <laughs> as per <laughs> usual. He would normally get mad if we took back one pie, but I was afraid of what he would do if I brought back four. Shove it where it don't belong. <laughs> <laughs> If I was in that situation, I was like, damn, looks like I bought four pies. I would stand there and honk. Hello, anybody home? Beep. That would make the beep. killer more agitated. <laughs> <laughs> Good, maybe he'll give me a bigger tip. And I'm not talking about money. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, mommy's crazy, huh? There was no doorbell, so I just knocked really hard. Ash. No, no, no doorbell. You know, every creepy, sketchy house gotta have no doorbell. Hey, you know, four, four pizzas, but no doorbell. I knocked one more time out of desperation and then began to hear some kind of rustling noises from inside of the building. <sighs> We got signs of life. Man, I would just be like terrified. Not from whatever's inside, but my boss yelling at me. <laughs> like, you brought back four pizzas? You really gonna get it now, Billy. I knocked again and yelled that I was the pizza guy. Before I could turn around, I noticed something at the window. There was someone looking through the window. All I noticed were their eyes. That is creepy <laughs> AF. Hello, you gonna come get your pizza or not? Like, what you doing? Standing at the window, just staring at me. What would you do? Man, I'll put the pizza down. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> I'm waiting for my tip, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was disturbed enough by this and dropped the pizzas and ran back to my car. Ah, you gave him exactly what he wanted free freaking pizza. It was free pizza. I drove off the grass and back onto the dirt road, but I felt the car rocking about shaking and bumping. I didn't make it far from the building before I started hearing a sharp scraping sound coming from outside. There was so much resistance that I couldn't even drive. The car came to a stop. Oh man, this is Hills Have Eyes all over again. <laughs> like they, they throw out the thing that like destroys your tires. The spike trap. And then you drive over it and then your tires are decimated. Don't tell me there's somebody in the, his trunk. I thought someone was in his oh, car. Oh man, I think somebody's in his car. You know, that's my biggest fear. I don't know how you could not notice that though. Like if somebody's right behind you like I'm always terrified of that's what I always looking at my Did you see feet. there's a car always. now that has a sensor for that that lets you know if someone's in there? What a scary feature to have. I know but that's it's so necessary. I got out of the car to check what the hell was wrong. My tires had been slashed and had completely fallen off the rim. All four tires were slashed. Instead of running I got back in the car and locked the doors. Come on guys I'm a pizza delivery guy. I, I don't get paid <laughs> enough for this. Pull this on some lawyer or you doctor or me. YouTuber like what do you want? From me. I make minimum wage. I'm just here to <laughs> deliver you guys pizza. Like, you got your four free pizza and y'all had to slash four of my tires. Hey man, tires are expensive. Yeah. I dialed 911 and explained everything to the operator. She told me the cops would be over as soon as possible. I asked her if it was advisable to stay in the car or run, and she told me it would be best to stay in the car with the door locked in all directions. There was nothing but dark. Darkness is eternal. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Like, would you get stay in the car? I think car? it was smart that he stayed in the car. I would probably, yeah, I would stay in the car. <laughs> We can't put in videos. Cause it's good. We do so much stuff and say so much stuff that's so funny, but we literally can't put in the video. YouTube's like, no, no, no. And the general public. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop! Go. You violated the law. The next part though is what utterly destroyed me. It still shakes me to this day, and I hope nobody ever has to experience this kind of fear. But anyway, that's all for today. That's how the video ends. Oh, <laughs> 
much would you guys hate me if I just like <laughs> cliffhanger? That's it. Find out in tomorrow's 12 minute video with five ads. That's a real scary part. You can <laughs> sit through all those ads. <laughs> I looked in the rear view mirror and there was the same person. The same person I saw at that window. I would run you over if I had some <laughs> tires. <laughs> I could see now that it was a woman and I could ever so slightly see a smile begin to spread across her face. I opened my door and fawn sprinted into the woods, not caring how much noise I made, and I hid behind a giant log on the ground. I tried to cover my loud breathing with my hands. How does that work? I don't know. I feel like that she makes just, you hyperventilate even more. She just probably wanted to come out and thank you for the free pizza <laughs> and give you the tip, right? <laughs> Thanks for the free pizza. <laughs> yeah. She probably hasn't eaten in months and was just like, oh, yes. Thank you, kind sir. No, yeah. as soon as you see her, you gotta get out of your nice, safe car and run. You don't know if they got homies in the woods. I finally heard sirens in the distance. I gathered up all the stamina I had left to run all the way back. The glowing red and blue lights came into view. They were parked in front of my car. I came out yelling at them like a lunatic to help me. I fell to the floor and started to gag, almost throwing up from running so much. They picked me up and began to question me. They picked you up and arrested you. <laughs> Stop! You violated the law! <laughs> One of the two cars drove over to the building, and the two officers began to search the building. They came back with nothing, except for a couple of spiky objects. The cops guessed that it was some kind of sick, demented couple, but unfortunately, they were never found. I obviously quit my job right after that, and started working at a local grocery store. Well, you would've got fired anyway. I know. You lost those four pizzas, tells the entire story of what actually happened. But you lost those four pizzas! You gave them to that family! for free and you never give pizza away for free mm-hmm you have been <laughs> excommunicado oh. from pizza palace i know that i'll never forget seeing that woman at the back of my car oh no she showed up at the grocery store to ask for more free pizza because you gave it to her for free the first time okay that was pretty creepy but you know us we make everything funny everything's a joke she probably it. wasn't gonna do anything with those spiky things that's probably what she used to cut up the pizza oh yeah true thinking about it they were probably just squatters we literally had to scare the pizza out of him <laughs> stand by the window and start blinking that's how you get free pizza guys that's a victory royale she looks skin and bones <laughs> if she did that dance she'd probably break <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a car to buy for my son for his 18th birthday. I was searching all the typical car websites, cars.com, eBay Motors, they were all overpriced as expected. Craigslist was the only place to find an actual deal. Craigslist was a completely legitimate place to buy a car, that's where I got my first car. Actually I got my very first car from an auction, and I got my second car from Craigslist, and then I sold it on Craigslist. I found an 03 Toyota Camry, it had 67,000 miles. No accidents, no damage, and good condition for only 3500 This seems like a steal for such a reliable car with such low mileage. The seller lived about 10 miles from me, which was a reasonable drive when looking for a car. Who narrated this? I don't know, the only thing that's scaring me is how bad this animation is. <laughs> <laughs> don't look, Ash, it's American anime. <laughs> I gave him a call to set up a time to come check it out. The man sounded normal on the phone. He assured me that there were absolutely no problems with the car. He introduced himself as Bob. Seems completely <laughs> legit. Man with a hood with a golden tooth. Yes, my name is Bob and there is a fly on my wire. Bring $3,500 cash. Stop. You violated the law. <laughs> Pulled up the dirt road to Bob's property. It was a tiny little house with a decent sized property, only because it was a bit far from the nearest neighbors. Bruh, why would you go buy a used car off Craigslist at night? That is the sketchiest thing you could possibly do. You can't meet up with a Craigslist person at night. The sunlight protects you. We all know you can't get hurt during the sunlight. Yeah. The garage was open, so I walked over to see if anybody was inside, but except for an unusual amount of car parts, it was empty. The car was nowhere inside. Sight. The only car on the property was an old pickup truck. Oh no, where's my 93 Toyota Camry? It's <laughs> not here! Why does it look like this dude just bought that How to Draw anime from Barnes & Noble? <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna make an animation. Top 10 worst animated animes. I won. She, she hot. Oh, I know, it's getting heated in this room. It's getting heated because all these fire ass jokes we got going <laughs> Something tells me he's not gonna get his Toyota Camry. I went over to the front door to check the house numbers. It was the right address. The doorbell button was missing, so I knocked on the front door. 
I knocked for exactly five minutes before deciding to give the man a call. Exactly five minutes. I'm gonna look at my clock and time it for five minutes. <laughs> if someone knocked on my door for five minutes, I'd probably want to end their existence too. Same. My thing is, why would you show up to that house? Like, at night. Come to my house alone. Don't tell anyone you're here. No cops. Thanks. <laughs> I heard the sound of a cell phone ringing from inside the house. Now I knew I had the right house. I decided I had to take a peek through one of the windows to see if anybody was inside. Peering through the glass, I saw a very old-fashioned dining room set. But across from that, I saw somebody standing at the back door of the house, staring outside. Ooh. You tell me this dude standing in the dark for five minutes while this kid was knocking, Who's not answering his phone. Like the phone is inside the house. Oh, maybe somebody came in and stole the Toyota Camry. Maybe it was the Toyota Camry. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I figured that must have been Bob, so I knocked on the window, but he didn't even move. There was no gate or anything to the backyard. It was just a wide open yard since this wasn't a rural area. I simply walked around the house to the backyard. I didn't understand how he couldn't hear me. When I got to the back door, I made a shocking realization. The figure standing by the door was a taxidermied human being. I ran straight back the way I came and back to my car. But if he got a car, why is he going by himself to buy a car? When he buys the car, how's he gonna bring it home? He never bring anybody. Your whole story is flawed. You literally just blew my mind. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I, I don't even care about the taxidermy. I just, he's got a car. You a liar and a fake. That's a good point. You yeah. made a really smart point. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. Know, like, a little, little clap for you. You violated the law. You have a car already. Why do you? You need another one. <laughs> I looked up one last time before driving off. The blinds to the window I had peeked into had been shut, but I could see two of the blinds bent open. Somebody was at that window watching me. You can probably guess I had the gas pedal to the floor the whole way home. The whole situation still makes no sense. All the car parts, the fact that there was no Toyota Camry, the taxidermied human being, whoever that man was, wasn't planning on selling me anything. Okay, but if he was gonna do something, why didn't he do it? You literally stood at his door knocking for five minutes. He he could have invited you in. There's obviously Bob in the house waiting for his next victim, but like he escaped too easily. He's like, oh no, there was no Toyota Camry. Gosh darn it, he's not gonna actually come into the house and try to find it. <laughs> like the last fool who did. <laughs> <laughs> you see the guy standing at the back window? He thought it was in the house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that wasn't that spooky. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the Face. And comment below, did you get creeped out or were these funny? And make sure you subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh! Oh. And check out Digital Nexus channel in the description below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.